here and uh, we are taking another look at King Seamus. Um, I mentioned I wanted to try a build with the skill plate and I now have the skill plate in my possession. Um, so unfortunately the description of the skill plate is not loaded into the game yet um, but reading off the blog, uh, when you make four or more cross break gems increase your red gem damage by 150% and your green move damage by 50% for two turns. So for that purpose, we're going to be running the finisher with double green just to see the finisher turns cross breaks into reds and then we have two green moves. So that's what I'm gonna run. Um, in terms of the plate, um, if you happen to get the plate and you don't get Seamus, um, Luke, the, uh, the bushbacker one, I feel like it would be really good for him. And to me, cause I'm, you know, female and I try to focus on my female roster. Um, this screams Beth Phoenix. So I'm hoping I can max this event to get the plate for her. And then I'll definitely be doing some Beth gameplay with the plate. Uh, but for now we're going to do, um, George, the animal steel, big John stud X pack and Zombie Cena for cross break damage. We've got the red percent metal and a full fury set. So let's see how this plate works. So we need a green match and we don't have one. So we're gonna do that. Just to kind of take his blues away. There's our green match. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Celtic Cross to toss out these cross breaks. See, move damage is 67,000. This should trigger the plate. Ow! So it went from 67,000 to 108,000. And our red gem damage is 24,000. Um... I'm going to try to finesse this a little bit. Ow. That's abrasive. Um, what I want to do is try to charge up the reds without breaking any cross breaks. And, God damn, that's so annoying. And I only need to make two matches of three because I'm using X-Pac. So... Hmm. Hmm. If I do that, and then let's... Because I want to try to get a bunch of reds on the board, because if we're going to turn cross breaks into red gems... And we're doing more red gem damage and more cross break gem damage then i want to see if i can hit as many of those as possible please 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 work Ooh, your girl got lucky <laughs> had a little heart attack there for a second ow whoa. i'm on mobile and i have headphones in so this is so bad <laughs> Um, okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cross breaks that are already red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 that aren't. So we kept all the cross breaks on the board. And we're going to turn all of them except for one into reds. So let's see. Uh, finisher is going to do 229,000. And let's see what we actually pin for. Please don't have any loud noises. I don't think I can handle this. <laughs> 1.09 mil against a strapped opponent. 
and a striker and a hall of fame striker no less all that beefy gem damage just couldn't take the brogue so <laughs> this plate makes him nuts this plate makes him absolutely nuts oh i want this for beth so bad all right that was great um thank you for taking the time to watch this video be sure to like subscribe share with your friends tell everybody about how awesome this plate is um let me know who you're planning on using this plate on if you get it i mentioned luke and i mentioned beth obviously seamus off the top of my head like i hmm powerhouse warrior i know he doesn't have any green moves but he's a powerhouse with red gem damage so that might be an option um yeah let me know who you're thinking about using this plate on uh that was that was fun again i really wish that he would like beat his chest and call for the brogue especially when you're gonna kick a guy in the face for 1.09 mil damage strapped up so thank you again for taking the time to watch this video be sure to like share with your friends and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out thank you again for watching take care